Hello guys. Today we are be discussing on the heat dome where this has been uh, taking place in two countries. One is Canada and other is USA. So there was a rise in fatalities on uh, human humans. I mean the us. So we will discuss upon that in today's video. So these are the news outlets which which are which are showing the the environmental threat which is happening and also how the how the impact of environment has kept drastic effect on humans so we will see how The, what what is a heat wave? So before that, we have to talk about the jet jet stream, which is a high force wind uh, which uh, taking place in northern hemisphere of the earth. So when the so this uh, this jet stream has been uh, uh, causing an effect of heat dome, the word heat dome which uh, we arise us. So we uh, this jet stream have a high pressure, high pressure winds uh, traveling. So what this high pressure creates a, a loop, a loop uh, where uh, the high pressure wind acting uh, acting upon the ground, uh, ground of the countries uh, where there is a, where uh, towards the ground uh, downward. So here the high pressure has been created downwards and. The clouds, there is a cloud free zone has created where the sunlight, uh, this, the, the cloud acts upon as a insulator from the heat, but uh, in this case, the cloud has this clouds has been displaced. So, where the dome has created, no clouds has been in that area. So, there is an inflow of heat uh, from, the, uh, from the sun as well as the, the dome shaped, which uh, purposely makes more a more heat hindered inside so for example uh, there was a place there's a place which has an average temperature is 20 degrees celsius or maybe 30 degrees celsius but in this case this average temperature uh, which is 20 degrees celsius suddenly rose up uh, up to a 40 degrees celsius maybe 45 so where the people who live in the ecosystem or the environment the sudden exponential change of temperature has a drastic effect, I mean the extreme effect on them, on the sunburns as well as the deaths. Uh, so the, the deaths has been reported nearly 400, uh, more than that, reported through government institutions. So these, uh, this, this phenomenon uh, which actually takes place maybe uh, days, three to four days or maybe uh, weeks. So and still it's upon uh, as of now, and how it occurs. Uh, so so where they so it, so how it occurs. So this uh, dome is actually a lid a lid or a cap. For example, there is a container where we are boiling the water, and when we close the lid, the temperature inside the boiling water uh, where uh, the temperature will be increasing high when we close the lid. When we open so it is going to be less heat when compared to the closed lid so that is what so how how it happens so as i said about the jet stream uh, jet stream where uh, where, uh, where, where it creates a loop uh, loop where so which uh, makes the air to create high pressure and um, goes upwards so like a term in geography term we say lanilla uh, lanilla where the effect uh, high pressure atmospheric condition uh, combines so and the process of convection happens where the hot air attempts to escape but uh, because of high pressure it pushes back down to the ground so under this uh, dome the air sinks and compresses releasing more heat so as winds move the hot air so the jet streams traps the air uh, in the area and it sinks towards the ground so this way and always and also the uh, clouds also 
block codes which provides uh, which uh, which actually uh, traps it so this is what uh, and uh, so what are the effects um, effects of uh, this so the human deaths is the main cause uh, but uh, and also the forest fires can, may takes place and agriculture sectors with the farming sectors has been have a major effect due to the failures of the uh, natural phenomenon and the cattle farming so where the um, where the cows as well as the sheep sheep or other cattle uh, can't withstand uh, the heat and the grasslands as well as the pets and the wild animals and the ecosystem of uh, microorganisms for so also a major effect so this all so thank you so much for listening